Hello everyone and welcome back to Mega Man Battle Network 5 base cross only kernel version. If you guys haven't already, make sure you check out the description down below. There's a playlist where you can go ahead and watch the previous series of Mega Man Battle Network 3 bug style only. Or you can go ahead and click play on the current playlist and watch this all the way from episode 1. We're on episode 2, but you know. If you want, it's up to you. You always want to watch from episode one. So in the last episode, we got through the tutorial, set up our base cross, made our way, delivered stew to stew, stew recipe to stew on the stew net. Uh, and now our dad has asked us to collect our friends to take them to the science lab or sci lab for some thing he wants to show us and or do. So these are our friends. The last guy we saw was Dex, who was our bro Chacho. This is rich girl Yai. Um, and literally the girl next door is loves loves land interest lands love interest and overall literal girl next door male um so yeah a bunch of other stuff's going on we're going down the sci lab cool things yada 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 all right so this is the trans transit hub sort of thing over here uh, it's just like the um train that takes us to point a to point b we can go ahead and do some stuff uh dex is late as usual so we're just gonna apparently do some stuff um and there he is the dex is a very interesting character he kind of often leaves in and out a lot of times but then randomly moves back it's a weird character concept that you can see in the previous series we did um so now we're gonna get the story rolling here um where we go to the science lab and we talk to a bunch of people also here is mr gnome He's my friend. Also, there are random things around the world that you can just jack into and do, you know, things. Example A. Um, and a lot of times in these sort of side areas that aren't very important or seem ininclusive, you will find these blue mystery datas that usually contain HP ups. Um, they allow us to increase the maximum health of Mega Man. Uh, for right now, uh, I know we can also go to a lot of the other, uh, shop vendors throughout the internet and buy them as well i will go do that in a moment um another thing that this game caught a lot of flack on um was oh let's see if i can do a combo here oh my goodness okay i don't know any of the combos i don't know any of the combos um but a lot of, another thing a lot of these areas on the free net, like the side uh, little things you can just kind of jack into here and there. Uh, also, we got Tri Buster, which allows us to shoot in multiple directions. So see how I'm hitting him, but I'm not standing in his way. Very cool concept. Um, a lot of these like areas are very wide. They're very big and they're very long. They're not as nice and compact as the other ones were because you used to transmit into the center of it. I personally don't like these uh, i don't like the the, the people wide uh area but teach their own i guess you know i get it they're trying to do something different i'm not gonna bash on the game the whole time it's just like little things like to point out also in the last episode i kind of started talking about the differences between Mega Man proto man or Mega Man battle Network 5 proto man and kernel uh and i think i got sidetracked because my adhd brain i started explaining my adhd brain um so anyways dun 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 bad guys over there so Mega Man Battle Network 5 Proto Man came out before Kernel. And just like Mega Man Battle Network White in Japan came out, and then a black vert or it was Mega Man Battle Network 3 came out in Japan. And then eventually a black version came out, which was like an upgraded, updated, much better version than the version before. But, comma, apostrophe, exclamation mark, this game came out a couple months after proto man and also is seen as the more canon story which i'll explain literally as the game ends um so a lot more things are seen as canon in this game than compared to uh proto man because of just like certain interactions and this game also came out later there's a lot more refined things in this game and a lot more balancing uh changes and things like that uh if that's sort of uh what you're interested in skiing so that's why we're playing this version uh first before anything else so we're gonna go up here also this is a little neat little thing not that person not this person 
Uh, here, there's actually a bunch of old Nintendo consoles that are kind of just like up on the wall here. Um, they're terminals that they're also been worked on. Some are like pets, but also some are like old game consoles and stuff like that. So I guess it's kind of, um, yeah. So anyways, we're going to go to dad's lab. This is dad. He doesn't come home. He doesn't really love us, but it's okay. We try to love him. We're only in the sixth grade. We don't really know better. to see something real quick something's bothering me uh filter off i figured it was on do you guys like this better or the filter on in the last series i had the filter off i know in the last episode i had the filter on it was by accident let me know what you guys think if you want filter on or off you can guys can be the deciding factor of that as viewers um i'll just leave it off for now because this is a little bit more original and i i don't know Pixel art goes hard. This is what got me into pixel art. So, I just randomly ate a Cheeto. My mind took over for me. Um, excuse me. So, we're sent over to go hunt for something. And in a coincidence of time, bingo. So, now an emergency is going on. Um, looks like whoever saw us outside is making a move of a move onto the uh, Scilab itself. They are breaking all over the net. They're taking over stuff. They are literally doing the worst. Oh no! Hey! Turn around! Oh! That's a bomb! Roll credits, everyone's dead. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in this, uh, this series of Mega Man Battle Network 5. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is just how the series ends. It's about 20 minutes in. You paid full price for a game back in the day, and your friends die in the first 20 seconds. Personally, I can't think of a better way to play a video game. So now we're going to have Goon 1, Goon 3, and Bob walk in. Um, so them in their GIMP outfits, 18 plus joke, sorry, are going to take our friend. Um, apparently the gas has already exited. Uh, enter bad guy. Who is it? It's Dr. Regal, everyone's favorite little banana face. So Dr. Regal is this a character that pops up in Battle Network 4 uh, and 5. Actually, at the end of 4, something hilarious happens to him. It's very confusing why he's here. Um, so pets he refers to have are called personal uh, terminals that contain like Mega Man, Guts Man, Roll, Glide, uh, your net navvies, pretty much. Oh, uh, they're called pets or PETs. Um, so yeah, they just took our dad, and he took our pets, which also takes our friends. Uh, so our friends are sad. Um, but Lan is back here, and this is kind of like the overarching story right now. That like, oh, everyone like you know got their stuff taken, but Lan winds up fine because he was hidden behind the wall over there. So he's good. He's vibing, right? Nothing is going wrong. He's having a he's having a wonderful day. He just woke up from school. His mom made him bacon and eggs. They're really not having a fry right now. She didn't just drop kick him in the mouth. Also, fun fact: Django, DiGiorno, DiGiorno Pizza is hanging on the wall behind him. That is a crossover from a different video game that was run back in the day, which also didn't make it into the Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection, sadly. So, big old F in the chat for that. Uh, Soul Cross would have been super fun to do as a run, but I guess we'll have to revisit on emulator because everything sucks. So. Okay, I keep accidentally pressing the wrong button. Okay, so now we're going to jack into the net and kind of figure out what's going on. So I'll give you guys a synopsis. The area is going to be red, not here, over here. On the main net, everything's going to be red and looks like it's on lockdown. That's because a group called, I think they're still Nebula, has taken over and pretty much has, like, occupied the net. And it's up to us to go not have that happen and free the net because as a sixth grader, it's us. It's up to us to solve global terrorism, right? I can't think of anyone I trust more against the reign of global terrorism than a kid in the sixth grade. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Good chat. All right. So we're going to rock and roll up here. And as this entire... What are you boinking at? Warning, warning. This area has been commandeered by an unknown group. Yeah, meow. I'm jacking out. I'm about to 
grab me some mystery data though. All right. So we're gonna grab that. Homie, is that guy selling? Is that guy gonna sell me some stuff? All right, so this is also a new feature that kind of came into the Mega Man Battle Network uh, series at some point. These little green floating air things are mystery data like we have in the overworld. And if you manage to protect it from the enemy or yourself shooting it, you get it, which usually results in bug frags or uh, a big chunk of zenny uh, or yeah, just some usual side item. Uh, so everyone's kind of skedaddling. We're going to skedaddle ourselves. Green mystery data. I got to go touch it. Goodness, I love me some Medars. Dry shot goes crazy, honestly. If I hit him from over here. That's unfortunate. He wound up hitting me while I got my... Counter hit off. So I kind of mistimed it, but it's okay. Vulcan kind of does that sometimes. Um, Vulcan, you can pre-fire a lot, but sometimes you won't be able to get away with it. We got a free bug frag out of that. We'll take that. The homie's still freaking out. We've got to go touch this because my body is calling to me. Thunder B. Oh, I love me some thunder. I really don't. Um, B chip isn't bad, though. Links up with some other early stuff. We'll get Proto Man to clear out the area real quick for us. Pretty much the reason I'm kind of zipping through this first part here is we're about to get the introduction. Um, this is still kind of the tutorial. This game takes off very quickly um, and is also kind of paced a little bit poorly. Um, it doesn't really do a good job of setting you up. You're kind of thrown into a lot of things and there's also a lot of side things that happen too. But you can kind of feel a little disconnected uh, with the story with just how adrenaline it's supposed to set you off like oh my god your dad gets abducted then some other things happen then some other things happen and blah 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 so anyways nebula navi here is guarding the big door behind him uh press introduction to some bull crap looks like that's an counter hits in hit him with a hell's rolling Damn. Thought it actually kind of... I it wouldn't take that long. But it's okay. He's out. Alright. So we make our way through. So we take out homie over here. He gets a headquarters. He's going to leave. Uh, we overhear the fact that they have the scientist, which is our dad. Uh, so he gets to open up the door. But the door closes. Now, something interesting about this door is that you can just slide underneath it, I guess. Uh, by the angle it looks at, but of course Mega Man can't really think that far. Also, what is... St okay, I'm gonna... You guys see my mouse? You see my mouse? Hi. What's stopping Mega Man from going, like, right here and just jumping? I'm just saying, I solved the issue before Mega Man thought he could. So, uh, he's gonna get an email. It's from Scilab. Uh, so we're gonna have to go to the Scilab. And we're also going to lie to our mom, because our mom said not to leave the house. Uh, but now we're going to be a terrible son, and we're going to crush our poor mother's heart. Oh. Uh, so he lies to his mom, uh, which is cool. Always lie to your parents. Don't lie to your parents. I can feel my mother glancing at me. Not even here. Um. Oh, yeah, our doghouse. So, the doghouse usually always has something in games. I don't know if it's got something in this game, so we're gonna go check. I need some water. I talk too much. Anything here? Oh, my God, this area is so big. Oh, that's what she said. Alrighty. Too bad we don't have a long story yet. Will it just go on a diagonal? It won't. So I gotta send it forward, then it'll go up. Gotcha, okay. I see how it works. I understand now. I'm smarter than I was before. Uh, any blue datas? Bingo. HP up? Reg up. Okay, so reg is that number beside where it says folder. It says six megabytes, and you'll see a bunch of other ones that are 
linked and located to a bunch of other chips. So what I usually like to do is I usually like to reg a attack plus 10, which allows us to just get a free plus 10 in. Oh, crack the neck feels good. All right, so Melu's here. Uh... Oh, we got another roll chip. Very nice. And her passcode. So now we can kind of navigate her area a little bit better, but it's fine. We're going to go to the science lab. We're going to go across. We're going to go uppies. We're going to go innies. Oh, I'm cracking so many necks. So that guy just runs out, doesn't say anything. I think he's like the only person in here. Doesn't worry about the child that's standing in the front foyer. Great adult. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. We're going to talk to the door. It's locked. We need a signature from something. Well, good thing we happen to know a signature of something, uh, which is in his coat. No? Oh, it's, it's in his desk. Okay. There we go. And now we got the data so we can go inside. So this is like the first sort of boss encounter scenario. It's once again weird. It all makes sense at the end. So this one here takes into my powerful spelling skills into effect. Um, some of the greatest minds you've ever come across uh, have never fumbled in this. But let me tell you, I'm far from the greatest mind. I'm probably as close to Swiss cheese on a dull knife you can imagine. All right. So these person, Mr. Progs, will give you... Uh, we'll give you like ideas on how to solve these. I got it. So pretty much it's usually we have to spell something and other like that. So sorry, my nose is super itchy. So the number on the left is the number of days in a week. So that's seven. Middle data is half the months in a year, which is six. And then the other one is going to be two. So we're going to take this. We have a limited amount of moves you can hiya. Waste my time. Yeah, sneeze. Uh, we take this, and then we put it like this. And then because we completed it, I think an under certain amount of moves, once we get it right, it will be solved and we can go forward. So we're going to make our way on forward here. We're going to keep on going. Oh, look, blue mystery data. Delicious. Thunder P. Let me some P. Don't say it. Uh, da -da, da -da -da. Oh, Shadow Man. I don't think I got to use a Shadow Man chip yet. Hopefully we can get Longsword S. I want to I wanna start throwing off some Life Swords. Try Shot for the win. Even though I could have Hell's Rolling did, it's whatever. Sometimes you just got to go have a little fun. This beat is sick. I want to take it right on your Disco Sticks. So we're going to go over here. And we're going to get this green. Ooh, Cannon Star. Very nice. So once again, Star Chips can be used with anything. So if we need some flexibility in our deck or something, we can just grab a cannon. That's always good. So Homeboy in front of us here uh, does this, where he kind of like jumps in front of us and tries to swing. His name is Kyle. He tends to overact a lot in school. It's fine. The guidance counselor said he'll... He should be able to recover at some point. I accidentally shot. I should have definitely not shot my shot there. Okay, so Kyle, now that you're going to do a wonderful thing and stand there, eat crap. Perfect. All right. And Fire Hit is actually one of the better chips in this game. Uh, it gives you some very good combinations. So Q is definitely a good area to start building around. Just going to keep an eye on what we have. Sometimes sneezes, sometimes they just come and go, you know? I can't control them. 
So for our Q, we only have fire hit, which isn't a problem, but we'll definitely build up some more later on as we go. All right. Um, uh, complete, uh, the letter, the left letter completes this coin word. Coin word? Is that was called? Pickle? Nickel. Quarter? Coin word. Oh my god. Right. Penny. Okay, so it's nickel, penny. Why couldn't they just, why couldn't it just be like, it's the thing that, a short sleep. <laughs> there it is. Alrighty. Uh, oh yeah. Welcome back to reality, Mr. Moose. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Uh. Fast gauge is going to be nice because that will get us our battle chips in quicker. I'm going to go shred this little Medar here and get a counter hit in. I didn't get a counter hit in because I am terrible. I should probably just charge shot for the time being. Okay, so you'll see float shoes allow us not even to crack panels, but I don't know if it makes it so it breaks the panels. I don't I don't know. We'll have to see unbroken fan. Oh, there was the one in the dog pump. I could have tested, I guess so. I forgot. I wasn't thinking about it. HP memory. There we go. So we're going to get an HP boost. I think it's 20. Oh, yeah, because it's 20% of whatever we have. So it's going to be 144. Interesting. Cool. All right. It's not a flat boost. Just a boost boost. Give me a counter hit, please. Thank you. Bye-bye. Alrighty, so let's make our way on through. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Okay. To the animals. Dog, cat, owl, rat. One does not belong. Owl doesn't belong. Even I don't know the answer. What a conundrum. So owl doesn't belong. I need the data of an animal that can be found in tar. Do you think it's a reference to La Biera Tar Pits? Ah! Anyways. Oh, that's a mistake. Okay, so... I just made a huge mistake there. Uh, I think the top one has to be Owl, if I'm not mistaken. Um, oh, I would like to show off this chip, but not right now. I'll do it, I'll do it in my next turn. I'll show you why. Okay. So what this color point does, it's very cool. I like this chip a lot. It combos well when you have a bunch of area steals. Uh, I don't know why I did that because Tornado can't actually hit it. But now, it, see, it takes all 10. It takes my row. And it would unleash a lot of damage, but I forgot it just took away my own row. And that's not how Tornado works. I should have grabbed probably Boomerang. That would have been a lot better, but it's okay. Um, I guess I can try to recover this. Yeah, I've really messed up here. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe. I'm going to reset. Sorry, this is supposed to be rat. That's supposed to be owl. I need to... Give me a second here. No, this is actually fine. Because now, what I can do is I can re-show you how great color point is. Bunk, 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 bunk. Look at that. Perfect. And I might get a fire hit out of it. Score one for the Republic. All right. All right, so this one here is going to be rat. So we're going to move the letters kind of around here. Uh, why'd I do that? Right? Hold on. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing this wrong. Oh my God. Well, see, this is why I can't walk and talk at the same time. It, it's literally killing me. This is so simple, and I'm being an absolute dummy about it. Uh, oh, that's taken care of. And I can stop hopefully being a dummy. Okay, so this one here needs to be rat, right? So we're going to take the O, 
Okay. And we're going to put it here at the T. Then we're going to go over here. And we're going to go here. Okay. Okay. See what happens when I don't be stupid? It's really nice, isn't it, eh? Okay, so now those barriers are up there. And we're going to go over here and we're going to flip the switch before we run into a virus. Because why wouldn't we run into the virus? Uh, I'm going to get a counter hit on this guy. Perfect. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're first we're going to hit the switch. We're going to open up that door. And we're going to save. I'm going to say thank you very much for tuning this episode of Mega Man Battle Network 5 Base Cross only on the kernel version. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you haven't, make sure you guys do subscribe, leave a like, and remember, we're always connected. Bye-bye!